Hi everyone, welcome back. So we're continuing on with our cargo trailer project into a camper conversion. So today we're going to work on the insulation. We're going to try and get some insulation in here. I've got my roof vent in already. I'm going to put my charging port on the side, my water fill on the other side, and we'll run through that. I'll just show you what I've done so far and what I've got planned for today. Okay, so our first step we're going to pull these panels off here. All the panels are coming off. Once I get those panels off on this side I'm going to put my plug for my shore power and on this side I'm going to put my fill for my water tank. So I'll get those marked out. I'm going to just put a half inch plywood on this side just to beef it up a little bit and then cut the hole for the plug and for the water fill to come through. Something to screw to. So let's get started on that. So I got my piece cut out here. Uh, this one, this spot here is actually 23 and 3 quarters, so they're not all 24 spacing. Obviously, they just it's a cheaper trader. But I cut it out the right width, and I cut it high enough that it'll go right into here and then right down into that groove down at the bottom. And then what I do is I just slide it in. So a little bit of finessing. I'm gonna try and get this part in this way and then slide it down to that groove. There we go. It's in the bottom groove. Now I just need to slide it down. So this will just give you an idea of how I'm running my wires. So uh, we can talk about the wires with the electrical section later on. But this is uh, sheathed and it's multi-strand wire. It's not single strand wire. Anyways, uh, for the insulation part, I just cut a groove in uh, the insulation board. And then I just tin tape it right over top of it. So then it's flat for when I put the board on. The paneling. You can kind of see there. So I just cut the groove, lay in the wire, and then put the tin tape right over top. And I've got left over to fill in this little bit here. So this is where my water fill is. So what I did is I, I mounted a piece of uh, uh, plywood here to the back side just to give it a little bit of strength. So I marked that out. I cut my hole a little too big, so we'll have to spray it like that. And then on the back side, I just kind of chiseled out where that plywood's going to be, right here. So then this foam will just fit around that, still give us a decent amount of insulation. So I got this little wire here. Just going to mark that out on here.
Here we go. So I'll just spray foam around here and in here. And that's good. Here we have our window cut out. What I did is I just put the window on the outside and I traced it out. I first actually I pilot uh, put a pilot hole through the bottom right the level that I wanted at and I did measured that based on the height of my bench in the back here plus my seat cushions plus the seat back and then a couple inches so that seat back will be put into the bed when it's in a bed like the fold down position I wanted to make sure there's enough room still at the top to make sure I can get a decent sized cabinet in there. So I just cut it out with the grinder. Show you a little clip of that. Okay, let's talk about the ceiling a little bit, insulating the ceiling. I'll just tell you what I did, what worked for me. So what I wanted is I wanted one full piece from one end all the way to the other end. I didn't want any seams in the middle. I cut some relief cuts here on the sides just to help it bend a little bit. Very slight relief cuts. But what I did to get the right measurement is I took a scrap piece of uh, the wall foam and I just stuck it in and figured out where I wanted my relief cuts and then I put it all the way in all the way across and marked where it was and then I flipped it around and did the other side and then that was my full length measure so that's what I used to measure these now and I'll just start putting them in and it'll be one solid piece that so there won't be any seams in the middle here and it's nice and tight it's not going to be going anywhere Here's the finished insulation. I still got a little bit more of that tin tape to put on the joints, but it's getting dark, so I thought I'd film it before it gets too dark. I'll insulate up there after I'm done my wiring. I insulated it on the one side, but that's about it. Okay, now I'm going to put my paneling in.